NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's the opening round of the Peach Invitational. And hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside my pal Frank Nabilo. We are here in the wonderful state of Georgia getting ready to kick off the round at Eastlake Golf Club. And what a great course it is too, Rich. Normally a par 72 for the members, but seeing we're going to play off the pros tee today, the fifth and the tenth hole, which are normally par fives, will be reduced to par four. So a very strict par of 70. Let's take it down to the tee. Excited to call all the action today out on the course for you. All set to go. We take you to the first hole. Frank, you've been there so many times. Really nothing like the first tee of a brand new championship. Uh, the thought of the unknown. The beauty of sport, you win the golf course. Doesn't get any better, Rich. Frank, right where you want to be. Uh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green. But he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read and missed out on that second part. Oh, good roll, good putt. On to the second hole. Really a nice mix of opening holes here at East Lake. 214 yards here on this tricky little par three. Good looking shot right here. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Settles in over the putt. Even par early on. Moving on to the third hole now. Short par four, under 400 yards. Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. It looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow through. Frank, straight uphill with this approach shot, what do you have to factor in in terms of club selection and set up over the ball? Well, you're going to have to take at least an extra club um, to, to make up for that added elevation. And also, it's tougher to get onto that front foot. Good, clean contact and a nice result and a chance for birdie coming up. Uh, give me a break, Rich. Your mum could make that. Ooh, that's a disappointment, Frank. Just five feet left. Still even par for the day. Fourth hole now, 440 yards. And remember when that used to be a fairly long par four, Frank? <laughs> Those were the days, that's for sure. Certainly not now, the way Jason Days and Jordan Spieth's of the game play. Um, two bunkers down the right, got to respect that, but um, really anything in the fairway. And once again, it's the second shot. You have a very severe tilting green. He has given this one the full treatment. 
perfect release through the ball, and this shot is on the fairway, over 300 yards. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Long putt here. This will require a good touch. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. These putts keep the round together. Hit it. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Back on the tee here at East Lake, fifth hole, 520 yard par four. Excellent looking shot here. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. I like the looks of this one. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Frank, it is really pretty simple here at the sixth. You need one good, clean strike of the golf ball. Yeah, and the ball's got to travel the right distance, land softly, and give yourself a six or an eight-foot putt. Um, that's the way it's drawn out. Chances of doing that are very, very small. Um, the reason why? Just have another look at this tee shot. And if you can see as much water as I can, you're going to realize this is no pushover. And it makes the green in regulation. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. <laughs> Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Well, it's that sneaky distance. Well, for such a strong man, weak putt. Now I'll have to make this just to avoid making Michael Dublé. Putt drops, now at one over par. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, the East Lake Golf Club is the home course of the legendary golfer Bobby Jones. It is the oldest golf course in the city of Atlanta. This is Rich Lerner with Frank Nabilo for EA Sports, and we'll be calling all the action out on the course today. We're ready to go. Off to the first hole. 
Stepping up to the first tee for this second round. Frank, what's the mindset, do you think? Has to be, hopefully, like yesterday, where they played extremely well. If we get another uh, carbon copy of that, we're in for some real delight. Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. On to the second hole now. And really a nice mix of opening holes here at East Lake. 214 yards here on this tricky par three. Appears to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Yeah. We haven't seen a whole lot of that, Frank, but that has to feel good. On this short par four, a fairway wood off the tee should leave players with a short iron to the green. The front of the green is guarded by two large bunkers that are especially difficult if the hole is cut on the right portion of the green. The green slopes from back to front and has several dominating ridges that make it very difficult to read. That's a good start to the hole right down the middle. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. And he's made it onto the green. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that par putt. Here now at the par four fourth hole at East Lake, and it is 440 yards in length. Like the looks of this one. Oh yeah. Interesting with the almost space age advancements in golf equipment, what with new lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. Birdie try up next. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for Birdie. He'd settle for par here. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Well, Frank, he'll drop at least one shot here. That was uh, not his best effort. No, uh, poor is the easiest way to put that. He knows it. That's how you keep a round going, make them from that distance. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabolo. Really enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah, it's been a good day out here. Once again, we've seen the golf course give more than it takes. For Frank Nabolo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.
NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Frank, in the changing weather conditions, players have so many different options, don't they? Some might like to play it high, others might want to play it a little lower along the ground. Really got to be on your toes today because of that, Rich, and really that's what separates the men from the boys, so to speak. Um, you know that any mistake you make can obviously be magnified by, by the wind conditions, but conversely, it's a real good chance for skill to shine. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. You know, this is a green light special. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Now sitting at two under par. This picturesque hole providing a commanding view of the Atlanta skyline and East Lake Golf Club. The fairway narrows to 25 yards in width, 278 yards from the tee, making driving accuracy a premium on this long par four. From here, a mid to long iron is needed to reach the green. Two large bunkers away, Aaron approaches into a large receptive green that slopes yet again from back to front. Well, this is the point in the round where a player really wants to be focused, dialed in, second shot here at the par 4 16th. And coming off a downhill lie, so allow that ball to go a little bit further than normal and perhaps even take that extra kick. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're gonna see exactly how good they are because you know that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Getting set now over the putt. Good effort and good par putt. Now the 17th hole here at East Lake, 455 yards, made famous a few years back by Bill Haas, who splashed one out of the water, left of the green, on his way to winning the FedEx Cup championship. Well, you can feel the tension right now. Always a pivotal shot in the round, the second to 17. And this one starting down the right does not look like it's gonna draw back towards the flag, but it will catch the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Par yesterday, now for birdie. That was cruel. That looked like it was certainly going in. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Well done. Now to the final hole here at East Lake Golf Club. And Frank, there aren't too many golf courses that finish with a par three. And uh, that's why it's always under a debate whether you should finish on a par three, especially one of this length. Uh, twos are very, very hard to find on this green. And the reason why there's so many slopes and hollows here, the two bunkers, remember the great up and down from Jim Furyk from the right bunker? That's more than possible. Um, but 
This is it. This is what it comes down to. Somehow, make a three. Shouldn't be a problem here. That's costly right there. Painful. Frank, this has been an absolute mess today and all week long. You said it best. Final round coverage comes your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying thanks for being with us on EA Sports and so long for now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. One thing you'll find talking to players up and down the range, especially late in the season, is that they are laser focused on making the top 30 in the tour championship presented by Coca-Cola. That brings so many benefits. You qualify for next year, all the major championships, all the invitations. There's just so much that comes with making the tour championship in the top 30 on the points list. We mentioned just two par fives here at East Lake, and here is that second par five. It's the 15th and only 525 yards. Yeah, this is a doozy, really, especially where it comes in the round. It forces you to attack the hole. Uh, there's plenty of trouble off the tee, bunkers right and that solitary one on the left. But uh, the second shot, if you can just keep it slightly left of the flag, you'll notice the natural contours will send that ball to the right. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. And it makes the green in regulation. And getting ready for the putt. Good birdie right there. Yeah, this game, when you can't win, it's all about top 10s, top 20s. Currently, that's exactly where they stand. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. Just a couple of feet. And he makes it for par. Over the last decade, the 17th at 455 yards with that water looming left has proven to be one of the most dramatic holes in golf. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Frank now one of the most important shots of the round, the second here at the 17th at Eastlake. 
It's amazing what a second shot in the middle of the green will do, especially in this sort of a situation, Rich. You can putt to all the corners of this green. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. On to the finishing hole here at East Lake Golf Club. Not many courses end with a par 3. It's always a fun finishing hole. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a formality now. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. birdies like that, Rich, you never know, just might sneak placed on the podium. In the top ten right now. <laughs> 